And now to vote 2022. How safe are Connecticut's elections? News 12 Connecticut's John Craven says it's a major issue in one race this year. One of this year's hottest races is for Secretary of the State, Connecticut's elections boss. Republicans endorse Dominic Rapini, who has filed dozens of dismissed election security complaints and retweeted discredited theories. On the Democrat side, Norwalk State Representative Stephanie Thomas emerged from a crowded five-way field to grab her party's endorsement. Our biggest weakness in Connecticut, I believe, is that we have this very decentralized system of 169 towns. Stephanie Thomas agrees with Republicans on one thing. Connecticut's aging election system needs an upgrade. But they disagree on election security. We had 5,700 people that voted on election day, but weren't registered till weeks, months, or even the following year. Is election fraud a major problem in this state? I do think there's a big difference between election fraud and election mistakes or operational failures. I do think we can certainly b button up some processes. After the 2020 election, Rapini retweeted false stories about Dominion voting machines being hacked. At a group he once ran filed so many dismissed election complaints, the state rebuked them for wasting investigators' time. Given that, why should voters put you in charge of running elections? I gave the SEC some good information, like 103 people that had the same name, addresses, and birthdays about different voter IDs. They never, they never investigated that. Well, these may not be the final two candidates. If there's a primary, voters will decide in August. John Craven, News 12, Connecticut. And be sure to catch more of our interviews with both endorsed Secretary of the State candidates this week on Connecticut Power and Politics, or you can watch anytime on the News 12 app.